Okay, what is up there YouTube? This is a J Man Time, and today I have a video on some more surviving warships, but also some abandoned warships from the Second World War. And today's ships come from the German Luftwaffe. There are many surviving warships from the German Luftwaffe. Yes, the German Luftwaffe or the Air Force of Germany from the Second World War. Now, during World War II, the German Air Force actually had its own naval detachment, and this was the naval detachment of warships that were used by the Luftwaffe and not the Kriegsmarine. Now, just like Japan, the German Navy and Air Force also competed with one another, and as a result, the German Air Force came up with their own naval detachment in the years before World War II. The Luftwaffe Naval Detachment mostly operated seaplane carriers and other smaller auxiliary warships to be used by the German Air Force or to assist the German Air Force during the Second World War. And during the war, most of the ships were either sunk or captured by the Allies. In the post-war era, most of the surviving Luftwaffe ships that were taken by the Allied powers were used during the Cold War where many of them were either sunk or scrapped. But in the 21st century, there are still a handful of surviving World War II era Luftwaffe warships and auxiliary vessels. So let's go over some of the auxiliary vessels from the Luftwaffe from the Second World War that still survive to this very day. And the first ship on the list is actually the strangest one because this vessel still survives to this day, although I can't really find too many photos of it. And that ship is the KMS Folk, also known as the Falcon in English, or the SP-22. And this was a German catapult slingshot carrier constructed between 1940 and 1942, and she entered service in 1943. Now, the Folk was part of a limited production light seaplane carrier known as the Schiffen or the catapult the slingshot carrier. Now the Germans did not have any aircraft carriers during the Second World War that were completed anyway, with the exception of the Graf Zeppelin, and they didn't have enough seaplane carriers. From 1940 until about 1943, the Germans constructed a series of smaller seaplane carriers known as the Schiffen or the catapult the seaplane carrier. And they were very similar to the American and British CAM ships, which were Liberty ships that were designed to launch the aircraft, mostly seaplanes, and in some cases one-off fighter aircraft. The KMS Folk had a displacement of 2,040 tons. Her main armament was five 20mm Flak 30 and Flak 38 anti-aircraft auto cannons. She also carried one to three aircraft. These were seaplanes of the Dornier Doe 18, the Dornier Doe 24, and the Bullholm and Voss BV-138 series of seaplanes. They were also used by the German Navy or the Kriegsmarine. Her armor thickness is unknown, and she had a speed of just 12 knots or 22 kilometers per hour. She had a crew of 54, and her operations lasted from 1943 until 1945 when the Germans surrendered. During the war, the Folk mostly served in occupied Norway, first in the port of Bergen, and then later on in the port of Tromsø, and then also Trondheim. Later on in 1945, she was captured by the Soviet Union, and she was renamed Aeronaft, or Aeronaut, and she was later transferred to the Soviet Northern Fleet, where she would serve as a supply and recovery vessel until 1968. In 1969, she was converted for use as a missile testing vessel, or missile test and support vessel, for the Soviet Navy until she was sold for scrap again in 1972. In 1972, the Folk, or Aeronaut, was sent to the village of Turvilo in Russia, which operates as a scrapyard for the Russian Navy, and she was partially scrapped with only her catapult equipment and superstructure being removed. Today, what remains of the KMS Folk can be found in the harbor of Tavilo, which has a graveyard of ships. These are a number of abandoned vessels or partially scrapped warships, largely from the Soviet era, that remained in the shallows of Turbilo Harbor. Though the Folk still survives to this day, although there aren't any direct photographs of the Folk taken by anyone in the era, only a few photos of abandoned ships in the era, and the fact that the Folk is actually listed as still in existence in the harbor of Tavilo. I Meaning she's still there, 
although she is partially scrapped and sitting in the shallow waters of the harbor. So she is really an abandoned warship more than a surviving warship. And so there you have it, the history of the last surviving seaplane carrier for, from the German Luftwaffe and the German Navy of the Second World War, the KMS Volk, also known as the SP-22, which still survives as a partially scrapped hull or Hulk in the harbor of Turbilo in Russia. Hulk is the only surviving combat vessel on this list. All of the other surviving Luftwaffe vessels are auxiliary warships, mostly crane ships and recovery vessels that were also used by the Luftwaffe. And the next ship on the list is the BP-34. The BP-34, also known as the Bergefram crane ship number 34. She was part of the BP-3 class or the Mountain Cream class of Luftwaffe seaplane salvage and recovery vessels that were constructed between 1940 and 1941. She served in the German Luftwaffe naval detachment until she was captured by the United States in 1945. In 1945, she was renamed India and served in the U.S. zone of occupation until she was renamed again in 1956 to the crane ship number one. Later on, in the 1960s, she was sold to the island of Malta and renamed the crane ship Mamert until 1992. In 1992, she was rebuilt into a miniature container ship named Fair Play, where she still serves today in the Maltese cargo fleet, although there are very few photographs of the ship available to the public. But she still serves in some capacity, the BP-34 or the Bergefram Crane Ship 34. And the next ship on the list is the BP-47 or the Bergefram Crane Ship number. 47. The BP-47 was part of the BP-6 class of Luftwaffe seaplane salvage and recovery vessels that were constructed in 1943. She served in the Luftwaffe naval detachment all the way up until 1945, where she was later taken over by the, new, the newly formed state of West Germany in 1950. She was rebuilt into a floating crane ship named Bergdorf, just like Bergdorf from the movie Downfall. She was later renamed the floating crane ship Aki, where she still survives today in the port of Posen. And she also serves both in the city of Posen, but also serves in the city of Wilhelmshaven, Germany, as a dredger or harbor dredger in the 21st century as of 2021. So the BP-47 still survives as a harbor dredger, even though she was originally built as a Luftwaffe seaplane um, carrier and recovery vessel. Another surviving Bergefram crane ship is the BP-48, which is the sister ship of the BP-47. She was constructed also in 1943, and she was later given to the U.S. as war reparations in 1945 at the end of World War II. Later on, she was sold to Greece in 1949, where she served as a passenger ship known as the Kerkira until 1981, when she was finally sold for scrap, although she was never fully scrapped, only her superstructure and equipment were removed and was later replaced with another much larger crane. And she still survives today as part of a pier in the shipyard of Amelie Poli in the Amelie Poli shipyard in the Greek city of Magnesia in the Desoli region of Greece. So this ship here was rebuilt into a harbor pier where she is now used to offload cargo onto other much larger ships or off other much larger vessels. So I guess it's better than being scrapped, you know. BP-48 still survives. Now all three of these Bergefram crane ships had a displacement of 170 tons. They had no main armament that we know of, although they did have small arms like rifles and machine guns. They were designed to be used as recovery vessels, but they could also launch seaplanes. The original Luftwaffe cranes that were attached to these vessels were designed to handle the Arado R196, the Heiko HE60, and the Heiko HE114 seaplanes. These vessels had a speed of just 8 knots, and they had a crew of 6. Now, these vessels doubled as seaplane salvage vessels and recovery vessels, but they could also be used as as a very small seaplane launchers. They were able to carry at least one seaplane and could use their crane to launch said seaplane. So they were very versatile ships despite just being auxiliary warships or auxiliary vessels 
auxiliary vessels for the German Luftwaffe. And there you have it. These were the four surviving Luftwaffe auxiliary warships and warships from the Second World War. If I had to pick, obviously, my favorite would be the Folk SP-22, but sadly, the KMS Folk is in a pretty bad shape, and she is just an abandoned hulk in the harbor of Tervilo, Russia. So what do you all think of these uh, surviving and abandoned Luftwaffe warships from the Second World War? Please tell me in the comment section below, and until next time, this was a G-Man Time, signing off.